A cheering crowd welcomed home a former Vancouver Island member of parliament at the airport in Nanaimo late this afternoon. Jim Manley is finally back on Canadian soil after being held in an Israeli jail. He was on board the Estelle, a ship that was on a humanitarian mission trying to break through the blockade of Gaza. As CTV's Jed Bazzi shows us tonight, he's back home, but he's still fighting. Jim Manley is back home in his family's arms. Well, it feels very good to be back, not only on Canadian soil, but on Vancouver Island. Oh, it's a huge relief for me. I'm glad, I'm glad that he's coming home. The former MP from Nanaimo spent three days in an Israeli jail, an experience he will never forget. I'm very proud of the people that were on board the Estelle along with me and their commitment to justice and to nonviolence. And I'm very proud that I was able to be a part of that. He was arrested with other activists who challenged the Israeli blockade of Gaza. The Finnish sailing ship Estelle was commandeered by Israeli forces, 56 nautical kilometers from Gaza, on its way to deliver school, medical and building supplies. We don't have terrorists! We don't have pirates in our seas! Turn back! Six Israeli naval vessels surrounded the ship and detained the activists. And we were committed to non-violence, but we were also committed to resisting their coming on board and taking over. We didn't just kind of uh, roll over and play dead. Manley says they resisted arrest and says 11 people were tasered. Uh, we, we gave them reasons for not boarding the ship, uh, but they boarded the ship. Manley was held for three days and says he was interrogated before being deported. We wanted to reach Gaza. We had some humanitarian aid, but even more, we wanted to break that blockade. While he was sitting in an Israeli prison, his son Paul was frantically making phone calls to get his father released. You know, the first couple of days were pretty difficult, not knowing uh, it was uh, quite a while before we heard from him. And, um, you know, we were hearing reports about taserings and whatnot, and that's difficult to hear, so we wanted to know that he was okay. The ship carrying pro-Palestinian activists bound for Gaza is being boarded, the vessel. The incident got attention around the world, and Manley says he's glad because it gave exposure to an issue he says needs more attention. We wanted the people of the world to realize just how scandalous it was. The 79-year-old is back home just in time to celebrate his 80th birthday next week. He says at his age, he's ready to hang up his international activist hat, but says he will support the cause from home as long as he needs to. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Nanaimo.